Hey guys, welcome back to Backwards Studio. In this video, I'm going to show you how to make a BB-8 model in Blender. Um, so, down here, you can see whatever I'm doing. So, if I hold the middle mouse button and move around the viewport, it'll show it over here. So, I'm going to delete the default cube and press Shift A and add in a UV sphere. And then I'm going to go over to the modifiers properties and add a what modifier subdivision surface. I'm going to increase the viewport to two. And then I'm going to right click and click shade smooth. Make it smoother. And then um, I'm going to press shift D for the head and move it up on the Z axis. Press G and Z to move it on the Z axis. I'm going to scale it like a little more than 0.5 and um, so now I'm actually going to delete the bottom half so I'm going to press numpad 1 to view it from the front I'm going to press tab into edit mode so I can edit the vertices <clears throat> and I'm going to press Z and click on wireframe and I'm going to delete um, vertices. Delete all the bottom vertices. And um, I'm going to extrude this down on the z-axis a little. And then I'm going to extrude it one more time on the z-axis. And I'm also going to scale it. Okay, now I'm going to move it down like that. And I'm going to press Z and go into solid. <coughs> And now you have BB-8 head, BB-8 head. And the next thing I want to do is press Shift A and add in a cube, or not a cube. For the antenna, I'm going to add in a cylinder. And I'm going to scale it down, move it up, scale it down. I'm going to move it like right about there. I'm going to scale it down, scale it on the Z axis. Now I'm going to tab into edit mode and select this top face and then scale it and then move it like that and then extrude it straight up on the z-axis. Okay, now I'm going to press shift D and duplicate it over here and just scale it down a lot and move it forward by pressing G and Z. Just like that is good. And then I'm going to make it a little bit thicker, so if I tab into edit mode and then select all by pressing A and select all, I can scale it and press S, shift Z to scale it on the X and Y axes, but not the Z axes. So scale, shift Z, like that. And now I should move it back a little. I guess that's good enough for now. Okay, now I'm going to press Shift A again and add in a UV. Actually, no, I'm just going to press Shift D on this <clears throat> and scale it down. Move it exactly to where the eye is. And just scale it down. Just make sure it's in the right position. And I'm going to press Shift D to duplicate it again. Move it over here. And move it down. Like that. Okay, um, yeah, that's good. Now there's like some sort of eyelid thing on this. So I think how I'm going to make that is I'm going to press Shift A. I'm going to mesh, or actually, I'm going to press Shift S and then cursor to selected. And now if I press Shift A and mesh and circle, now the circle will go to the eye. So if I rotate it on the x-axis, 90 degrees. And scale it. And then if I go to, um, if 
press 1 and then press A to select all. It'll select all the vertices and I can press E to extrude that out. And then I can right click and scale it. <clears throat> and all I want to do is for the top part. So I'm going to select all these vertices on the bottom, delete them. <clears throat> and I can extrude this out now. And I think if I, if I press Alt and select the top, I can press G and Y to move it on the Y axis backward. And I can click right, right click and shade smooth. <clears throat> um, and I'm going to move it backward a little bit more. And I'm also going to move this forward a little bit more. Or maybe not. Okay, that's good. Now, um, this shade smoothing doesn't look good. So I'm going to go to the object data properties. And under normal, I can turn on auto smooth. And that will look much nicer. And also, um, when I increase the angle, um, it looks worse. So I'm just going to keep that at 30. Great. Um, so next, I guess, I'll add some color to it. So for this, I'm going to press Control R with this antenna, the bigger one selected. I'm going to press Control R and click, and I'm going to drag it up, and then I'm going to press, I'm going to press, uh, I'm going to actually just select all these top ones. I'm going to go to the uh, material properties, add a new material, and add another ma new material, and click assign, and make it black. And I'm also going to shift, alt, shift, select this bottom one, and then assign it that one too. And I'm actually just going to uh, alt select this loop and move it on the z-axis up a little. And now you can't see the colors. I mean, this should be black right now, but it isn't because we're not in uh, the material preview mode. So now we can see it. And it's the top and bottom are black. And that's what we want. Um, for this one, we're just going to keep it white for this. Um, for the top, there's like a ring around uh, here, an orange ring. So I'm going to uh, press Control R, and then right here I'm going to add a loop cut. And then I'm going to press 3 to uh, select the one face at a time, or select faces. And I'm going to uh, press Alt and select this, select the whole loop. I'm going to make a new material, and another new material, and click Assign, and make this orange. And uh, white is good for the rest of it. Okay, so for the eye, I'm going to select both of these and then press control, or actually, uh, no, no. What I'm going to do is I'm going to select the eyelid, click new, and I'll make it black. And then for the eye, I want it to be the exact same material. So I'm going to uh, select the eye, press shift, and select the material that you want it <clears throat> to the eye to be. And then press control L and click materials. And now the eye is this material. And now it's kind of cool if we change um, the material on one of these, it'll change it on all, all of the uh, all of the objects. And if we didn't want them to be the same, 
we could click on this little two thing. It's just saying that there's two objects that have the same material. And then we can change it. But I'm gonna just control Z to undo that. So this is the same now. Okay, great. Um, this should also be the same. Press control L materials. And it's looking good for this. There's a little ring like right here. Um, hmm. No, actually, I think I'm just going to leave this white. So yeah, I guess that's it for this video. Um, if you liked it, please make sure to like and subscribe. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye.